There are a lot of guides out there nowadays showing you how to mirror the Roku to your iPhone, but the thing is they have programs where you have to pay money and things like that. I'm going to go through and show you exactly how to get this set up without going through all that. Yes, there's a way to go ahead and do this in an easy way, and I got it for you here today. If you're new here and you like iPhone tutorials, tips, tricks, and carrier conversation, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. I've been trying to get this video together for a while and I've ran into a lot of issues because the Roku doesn't allow you to record the screen. And reason being is because you could just record movies. But it did take me some time, but I finally found out how to get around that. So with that, we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your iPhone so you can go ahead and project your pictures, movies, videos, music, or even screensavers to your Roku from your iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to do it. And it's probably a lot easier than you think. So make sure you go ahead and check this video out. Let's go ahead with that said, let's go ahead and just jump into this. So here we're going to be at the main screen here. The iPhone's going to be on the right. We're going to go into the app store and then we're going to go ahead and click search. And in there we're going to go ahead and type Roku and we'll search. It's going to be the white one with the purple lettering. Let's go ahead and download that app. So we'll tap on the download and it'll take a moment to go through and set up. This is amazing to do because you can simply project any photos or videos, which is the biggest thing right to your Roku. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open here. And when you open the app, it's going to say some things here. Roku's on now. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. Big thing to know is you have to be on the same network. So if you're on one Wi-Fi, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi with the other. We're going to simply next through and skip notifications. And there we go. So now we're connected. So across the bottom there, we're going to go ahead and select more. We're going to go ahead and choose connect to a device. And there you should see your Roku. You want to go ahead and click on that Roku. And it'll go through and connect. There we go. So next thing we want to do is just go ahead and choose media on the bottom of the screen there. And here is your options. Let's go ahead and go in the photos first. It's going to say you need to give access through your iPhone. Just hit, go ahead and click give access. And you're going to go ahead and choose OK on this. This is assuming you want it to do you want to do this. It's going to need your access. It's going to show all where your photos are located in this area here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose recent because that's where I store all my photos. It's going to load up here. I got some uh, photos of my son here. So we're going to go ahead and choose one of those. It's going to adding to play. There we go. So now we see it on the Roku and the iPhone at the same time. So you can flip to the next one as well and flip back. And you can see the photos just switch no problem at all. Nice. So we can go ahead and go back and when you're in photos you can't find your videos here because it's a separate area so you just want to go back one more time to go ahead and choose videos. There we go. Now the videos are loading. So many to choose from. Let's go ahead and play this one. Here we go. So there's a quick video there and we'll go ahead and go out. You can also choose music. Again, it'll ask you if you are okay with doing that. We'll go ahead and choose okay, but I'm not going to do that here just because of copyright's sake. 
there's just too much copyright. You could also do screensaver. I don't have any screensavers, so it's basically just loading and then gives up and goes back to the main screen. So something else we can go ahead and do on the bottom there is choose control, which is pretty nice. The controller will allow you to go ahead and basically be your controller. So if you can't find your controller, you can just go on your iPhone and control it this way. You have other things across the bottom. You can choose like channels and things like that as well. But I just wanted to show the controller as well because I thought it was pretty awesome. This is how you go through and share your photos and videos to a Roku nice and easily. And that's awesome because so many people have Roku's. And now when you're with, you know, your significant other or a friend and you have a video or a clip you want to show, you can quickly do it this way and show them exactly what's going on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and smack that thumbs up. And here are some other videos I think you're really going to enjoy. Thank you so much for the view.